Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Tactical Saying. It's that time of the month where we're going to be opening up a tag pack. Guys, this is the first one of the year, tag pack January 2019. Uh, before I go any farther, guys, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Love to have more of you guys on board with us on the Tactical Saying. Uh, also, hit a, hit the like button if you, if you like the videos that I've been doing so far. And uh, this one's going to be just as great, if not better. Uh, we've had a lot of hype for this box. We've been looking forward to this box to come in. And as you guys all know, we open them upside down. And right now, I'm opening this up with the Schrade folder that I've received from them in the past. Uh, good little knife, very handy. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it, guys. Um, I know in some of my other videos, for you guys that do do not uh, look on any of my other videos except for my Tac Pack unboxings, uh, I will say this: you guys are missing out because I've actually been getting a lot of gun part videos done. I had. One for Ergo Grips. I had another one done for uh, R&B Tactical Tooling, uh, which I just got a phone call from Bob, the owner, the other day, and he says that um, that there's a lot of details I should cover with it in the next videos to come. So guys, you want to subscribe so you can catch those videos. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into this. So we open these upside down so that we can get to this thing first. I'm not letting you guys peek. We're not peeking this time. So this is Tech Pack January of 2019. It says we are coming in hot and fast in 2019 with even more highly demanded AR parts and gear. Dig and enjoy. And from all of us at Tech Pack, Happy New Year. This is the Happy New Year box, guys. Um, so right off the rip, we have a. It says we have a Mission First Tactical Torch backup light. The value of that light is going to be 50 bucks, and the info card reads, uh, reads as follows. One of our highest demanded items of all time, and we have delivered. We wanted to find something that met at the apex of affordability and quality. This low-profile Picatinny mounted pressure pad activated light is ideal for home protection, navigation, or as backup to a primary illumination source. Low output illumination for signature reduction during p patrol stealth structure search approach to target and reaching operations 10 year storage lifespan 12 hour burn time and weighing just 22 grams we have a feeling this will be an immediate addition to all of your setups so guys before i go farther i'm just going to read all these first then i'm going to go pick out everything go uh, look at it let you guys know what i think of it uh but the next thing up is a j and e machine lower vice block Good, finally got one of those in. Says another highly requested item from our subscribers. The block slips into the rifle's ma magazine well and is held in place by the rifle's magazine catch. This made to this is made to not crush, distort, mar, or damage the receiver while you get your work done. The lower receiver fits into the magazine housing from either top or bottom. Made in the USA, guys. Once again, I'm gonna say it again. I am a huge fan of US made parts. Um, the next thing up is the ABKT first aid kit. They did say that uh, we could be looking at getting a first aid kit in uh, or getting something that could help save our lives. So guys, this is definitely gonna be a good thing to have here. Uh, it says if you deal with, uh, it says the value of that's 25. So, so far we're looking at a total value of about $90, looks like. Yeah, $90. So we're gonna keep going. Uh, it says if you deal with firearms on a regular, then a solid first aid kit is a must. We selected a comprehensive kit that takes up uh, very little space. This nice and lightweight kit includes five, five each small, medium, and large adhesive bandages, six feet of elastic wrap bonded, uh, bandage, uh, five butterfly bandages, ten feet white medical tape, five antiseptic towelettes, uh, three two by two gauze pads, three three by three gauze pads, and five cotton swabs, a monkey fist tourniquet. Ooh, that's a good ad. Uh, one pair of gloves, surgical scissors, tweezers, cohesive elastic uh, bandage, and it's got Molly compatible bag. It's a in a Molly compatible bag, all inside a black nylon pouch. Um, and then finally on this we have uh, J and E shorty vertical foregrip. Uh, the value of that is at $15, which brings our total value up to $105. Uh, 
uh, a compact foregrip featuring a CQB design for fast reaction and control. It includes a storage compartment as well, made in America, guys, again, made in America, by our friends at J&E Machine. Over the years, we've been biased towards shorter grips based on their ease of maneuvers because of the short profile. Um, this has it all valued at nine at a uh, total of 105 that's all msrps um i will say this there is places where you can find some of this stuff cheaper than that the mrp msrp values so the first step on our list was get down to it so this is that little light the little mounted light for 50 dollars um i'm not too sure about this this doesn't well let me open it up first Let's see here what do I do with that knife like butter um... so this is that light as you can see so it's got a red a red light to it press it again turns it off it's got a couple different brightness levels uh, let's see here what does it say here on the package um, so then you it says you hold it, and it'll turn the white light on. It says you press and hold for two seconds. Oh, you don't even have to hold it for two seconds. It turns it off. So press and hold for two about two seconds. Turns it on. Just press it. Turns it off. Um, I don't know how long this would last on. I definitely wouldn't put this on an AR. I'll say that uh, this would not go on an AR-15 for me. Uh, I would probably end up putting this undermounted on a pistol maybe, but I would not put it on an AR-15. Just because my when I'm building my AR-15, I'm gonna build I'm gonna build it with a light that's got a lot more lumens than just uh, let's see how many lumens it says. It's only got 10 lumens. I'm not doing a light with only 10 lumens. That's dull as all crap. I'll get out and I mean you're gonna get to the door, you're gonna put this at somebody, they're just gonna laugh, they can see they'll be like, oh I see you, whatever my light i want it to blind whoever's breaking into my house thinking that they can take me on i'm gonna give i'm gonna get a light that'll blind them so this will just be like a pistol undermount thing for me um but oh and do i think it's worth fifty dollars no i think honestly a, a a more comprehensive value for this would probably end up being around uh I wouldn't even give it $15, honestly, just because it's so small. And literally, I can find other lights bigger than this with almost 300 to 400 lumens on it, not even priced at the same price that this was priced at. So I would say this probably wasn't all the best of an add into the box just because of what it does not offer. Um, but that's that. I'm, I'm going to get off on that tangent. I don't want to rip it too much into uh, Tag Pack tonight. But next up is the JNE machined vice block. Oh, well, that wasn't stapled on there that good. Oh, well. But yeah, vice block, it's your basic vice block. It's a very hard plastic, very good. Um, you'd stick this into your vice, uh, and this is for your magazine well. You'll stick this into your vice, it'll hold your. Uh, your uh, AR-15 lower stable so you can do the work that you need to do putting in all the springs and uh, excuse me the springs and detents that you need to put into your right into your rifle also help you put in all the pin the takedown pins and the uh, magazine catch uh, that it this would be a good thing to have while doing that as well uh, but yeah I can't complain with it because I mean it's $15 guys it's it's a nice part heavy duty plastic um it's not metal it's plastic but it's like i said guys this is worth 15 dollars because it's something that if 
you don't have it, it's a must have. So I like it. That's a good ad for the box. I'll give it that one. $15 is not a bad price on that. Um, let's see here. The next is the ABKT Molly Strapping Accessible Bag. You got the back here, the Molly Strapping. It looks like it can go on either by buttons or it can go by uh, Velcro, which I like both options. Both options are pretty neat. So you can stick that on a range bag. You can stick it on a... Uh, a bug out bag. It's even got a front compartment right here. It has nothing in it, but still not a bad bad gig there. Um, open it up. You got your your bandage, your 10 foot bandaging, your monkey fist tourniquet. Um, I'm not gonna dig into all these, but you got all your bandages stuff right here. Your gauze pads, uh, your surgical tweezers, and stuff like that. And then you got your gloves, more gauze. That's it on the tape. God, that's, a, that's a very small bag of tape. But um, this is definitely a good ad, especially for you, uh, you range junkies out there that like to go to the range all the time. This would be a good thing for you to have on you at all times because you never know what's going to happen while you're out there shooting. You want to be safe, but at the same time, you want to be prepared. So this is a good ad for the box. I like this. I'm actually going to probably stick this on my uh, Air Force bag I have. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I have just recently um, enlisted. Well, I've been enlisted. They've been trying to enlist in the Air Force since February of last year. However, I was just finally able to go to MAPS, and I ship out January the 29th. So, so, guys, this is going to be the last tack pack before I ship out. No worries, though, because I will be back, guys. Don't worry about it. I will be back and I'll be having more information for you on the tag packs to come after I get back from all my stuff. And oh, they gave us a little swag patch. Oh, it comes with a submission first tactical. It even gave us a uh, little uh, twenty percent off on their uh, discount on their some of their pricing on stuff. So that's pretty nice, guys. And I'm pretty sure this uh, this coupon code is probably good for everybody. And it's, it's uh, valid until March the 31st. So, yeah, guys, go ahead and swing over to Mission First Tactical. Give them a look. Uh, see what you might want there. You can get 20% off on the entire website. And they give you it on the form of a swag patch. So that's pretty neat. Or a swag sticker, not a patch. And here's what I've been looking forward to. I wanted to see what this was going to look like. So let's open this bad boy up. That's got a good feel to it. But um, yeah, it's Picatinny acceptable. It's a four grip. It'd be a four grip, vertical four grip, made in the USA. Uh, you guys want to know where Janie Machine is based out of? I believe they're out of uh, Cocomaga, uh, or however you pronounce that city. But it's in California. So their AR-15s are not going to be able to have some of the things that we can have on our AR-15s here in Ohio or in some other states. But, oh, let me see here. It said this thing comes out. So this little compartment right here, storage. Uh, this is good for, like, storing extra batteries for your optic or uh, possible cleaning stuff or lube for your rifle. You get to the range and you find out something's sticking, not operating properly. Um, it's good to put some lube in the bottom of this. You can pull it out when you need it. Take your gun apart, lube it up, put it back together, then go back to firing again. But um, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of vertical grips, but still, I'm not gonna pass up the opportunity to put this on my rifle, especially with a build I have coming up, guys. You're not gonna want to miss. So, uh, like I said before, subscribe to the channel because I am working. I am uh, currently working on a uh, custom AR-15 build. It's gonna have a lower from R&B Tactical Tooling. It will have the J and E Sop Mod uh, buttstock on it. It will probably have this J&E vertical foregrip on it, and I am still working with this one company to get their complete upper because I want to uh, I want to see what their uppers are like because I, I want to help them out, give them some good positive uh, feedback. I would like to. 
Uh, but they got to get back with me, guys. You know how that is. Um, that company is Gorilla uh, Machining. And um, I, I'm hoping they pull through for me. Uh, if they don't, that's too bad. I'll just have to go on to the next thing. But, guys, this is this month's Tech Pack. Uh, pretty good overall uh, feel for this. Uh, you got the two AR-15 items that they said they were going to give out. Um, the light they said they were going to do. And then the item that might save your life. They hit it all up, guys. They did a wonderful job. I would agree that this month was able to make up for the ABK team knives that we got last month. Uh, so not bad, guys. Not bad. Uh, some of you guys had good ABKT neck knives. Some of you guys didn't. I, for one, did not. So I got a hold of that company. We took care of the situation. And uh, everything worked out perfectly. So um, now let's go ahead and hit up the February hype. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy your uh, your February boxes. I, however, may not get one because of me joining the Air Force. So guys, wish me some luck. And uh, as I go off, this, uh, this video is posting exactly 13 days before I ship out. So, uh, here's your guys' February hypes that you guys will get to enjoy. It says, more AR parts and gear, you say? You got it. Five total items coming at you in February, just in time for Valentine's Day, because we love our subscribers. Guys, this is the technical saying. I would like to say that, yes, this, this was a good, good box, uh, good month, good way to start off the year. Looking forward to everything else that's going to come for you guys this year, and... This is the tactical saying. We are signing off for one of the final times before I ship off for the Air Force, guys. You, if you want to look into my videos for the Air Force information, go ahead. Uh, let me know. But as soon as I get out of basic training and go to tech school, I will be making a video on my experience with the basic training. So you guys be on the lookout for that. And we'll see you guys next time on the tactical saying. Bye, guys.